of all, how cool are these nails? I made them myself I, for the life of me. For the life of me. I could not get the thumb on. I guess four out of five isn't bad, but I made these out of um, polymorph plastic. And also I didn't have any nail glue with me. Normally I stick these on with nail glue. So I use Prozane. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do the other mother from Coraline. Also, if you're not following me on TikTok, what are you doing? I've been posting all of my latest videos on TikTok. And if you wanna see the latest TikTok, make sure you follow me on TikTok. If you want to see more Coraline related videos, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy this video and smack the subscribe button and join the horsepower. No, no more horsing around. Let's get right into the video and let's get started. Also comment down below if you want to see Coraline on my YouTube video and which Coraline, the regular kind of Coraline or the button eye or some kind of gory version of Coraline. I don't know. Make sure you comment. First thing I'm gonna do is block out my eyebrows with a glue stick, which actually <laughs> seems like a theme right now of me blocking out my eyebrows for every look, but it's Halloween season, so I guess Halloween calls for no eyebrows. Next thing I'm gonna do is paint my face white, which uh, I'm gonna skip ahead, but I'm gonna be making a tutorial if it's not already up. Uh, it'll appear up here, but I'm gonna be making a tutorial on how to paint your face white three different ways. And again, if I haven't made it yet, it'll appear up here later, or if it's out now, obviously you'll see it right now. Next thing we're gonna do is use an angle brush like this. Actually, you can see it very well compared to my face. <laughs> and some gray eyeshadow. And we're starting to start creating the shadows of the cracks on the other mother's face. She's having a pretty bad day. She's just like cracks all over her face. So we're gonna start creating the shadows and don't make the shadows the same either. Some shading is gonna be darker than other places. So don't make it look even, make it look like an organized mess. The other mother has very dramatic cheekbones. Like it's, it's crazy, it's like unnatural. So uh, you could also use the gray eyeshadow and shade where you want her crazy cheekbones to go. The other mother also has a very pointy nose, so you can kind of manipulate the cracks into where it's making a pointy nose. And you can continue your shading with the same gray eyeshadow. go in with black eyeshadow and further deepen the shading where it is darkest. With black paint, I'm gonna carefully paint the buttons around my eyes. And make sure you set your button eyes with either black eyeshadow or translucent powder. And you can kind of overshadow on the bottom of the button just to create a little shadow underneath the button. Taking black paint again, I'm gonna make my evil eyebrows. And 
And while we're at it with the black paint, I'm gonna paint my lips black. So we're gonna leave the button alone for now. Now we're gonna work on her skeleton. Her skeleton? Is that a skeleton? I, I assume she's a skeleton. She, like, it's hard to tell because like her face isn't exactly a skeleton, but then, I don't know, she's kind of a, she's kind of a weird one. So I'm gonna be kind of filling out the outline of her skeleton. So I redid it to make it smaller than what I originally did, but it's still the same design. You can make it whatever size you want, but I was uh, trying to stay true to the original picture. Now, just like with the face, I'm going to start shading the rib cage, the rib cage, uh, with gray eyeshadow, and we'll go from there. And with black eyeshadow, I'm going to shade it even darker. So we're going to leave the bones alone for now. Now I'm going to use white paint and start painting the dress. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Literally like a third of this white is actually gonna be showing up. Speaking of which, we're gonna take black now and start making that crisscross design. take some gray eyeshadow and just kind of rub it all over the dress just so it's not the brightest thing everything's kind of like a off-white or it's kind of darker so I want the dress to match everything else and with black paint I'm gonna carefully outline everything that's inside the dress Now we're gonna do some highlights. With white paint, I'm gonna draw her really skinny arms. <laughs> and anything else that is remaining in skin color, paint it black. Now I'm gonna use white paint and add highlights to the button so everything that you wanna see on the button make it into a highlight since everything's already black. All right, all I gotta do now is put my wig on, put my fake nails on, and I'm done. <laughs> 